Hello, and welcome to Recreating Recipes with me, Dan Mellers, and Mr. Tiny, Cam Bishop. Today, we will be creating a different dish which we hope you at home will enjoy. Yes, this recipe will hopefully tempt you with new and exciting tastes. I always say, if there's a food I have never tried, then there's an opportunity to be taken out of my comfort zone and have a new experience. I thought you had almost tried everything. I mean, everything. Don't you know? I mean, I mean some of that rubbish you put into your mouth is horrible. Well, thanks, but I'm not the one who loves junk food. What's that on your chin? No, the other one. Anyway, stop this abuse. We're going to start crying like last time. Let's get back onto the subject of cooking. So we're going to call this recipe fabulous after me, of course. You're really big-headed today, aren't you? Calling me big-headed with that big balloon head of yours. So the dish today is a creation containing healthy flavours at reasonable prices. As you will find out in the series, all dishes will be prepared considering a student's budget. It includes a combination of peppers, cheese, a dip and bread. This dish will blow your mind together with my amazing presentation skills, a taste will match good looks, talking of good looks. You'll, you'll want to make it all for your friends. Make sure you have all your ingredients ready to go, and extra just in case something goes wrong. As we all know, anything can happen in the kitchen. Oh yeah, a bit like that time you cooked that dish which was so horrible and made you throw up. It was so funny. <laughs> Yeah, you weren't supposed to tell anyone about that. Before starting, make sure you wash your hands so that they are ready and clean for cooking. Then, have all equipment ready to start and you're good to go. So, we start with the peppers and slice the heads off, scraping out all of the seeds, as Cam is demonstrating. You want to do this with about six peppers. It doesn't matter if they're the same size. In fact, try to make them a similar size so that the end product looks neat. Once you have all your peppers, grab your cheese this can be any cheese, but I'm going to use cheddar for this part of the dish. So, we cut the pieces about one centimetre in diameter so it will fit into the pepper. Once you have all six pieces, you can take a break and do nothing. Now, you still need to carry on with the dish. I mean, that's just what you do, because you're a lazy man, of course. Actually, I think you find that I came first in 100 metre sprint race with the over 80s. <laughs> hmm. OK, well, after you've created your cheese and pepper combination, you grab a breadstick, and cut it in the middle, as seen, and cut it off the end, as you can see. Then pull out most of the inner part of the bread to make sure the base is, but make sure the base of bread is still intact. Then you will place all the peppers into the bread container. Once this is done, you will need a bowl to create a dip, which when finished will be placed in the center of the bread. To make this dip, you'll need some ingredients. Well, obviously. Mm, don't get horrible. We're just trying to tell these nice people about our recipe. And then you interrupt me. You always do this. Well, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not changing, so get used to it. I've been used to it for too long. I can already see the wrinkles on your face. It's taking its toll. You look 10 years older than you actually are. Now who's the one that's being mean? This dip contains ingredients. Oh, no, who's being the obvious one? Fine. This dip is tasty, as you're about to see. Is that better for you? So much. Nice. Thank you. Now let's make this dip. Take 100 millilitres of low-fat yoghurt. Done. And then take 50 millilitres of fromage fray. There we go. There we go, yeah. And then mix it with two tablespoons of green pesto. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> there's two. Now you want to mix it inside till it's nice and consistent. And now you want to place it in the bread. So we're going to remove the peppers and place it inside the bowl we've now created. There you go. There we go. One. What? Two. I think we have one more. One, one more. more. Just to fill it up. Just yeah. one more. Right, there now we we're going to place the peppers back in. Here we go. There we are, one more. Okay, yeah. Once this is finished, the job of tasting this amazing healthy but inspiring dish can begin. The only inspiring, Oops, only inspiring thing you've ever done, though. Now, we have Joe Jones to come on and try this dish. Come on, let's go. Where are you? Hello. Come on, Jay. Right, yeah, it's good, yeah, I'm right. Uh, yeah. Do you want to come taste this dish then? What do you think of its presentation? Yeah, it's, uh, it looks really, really good, actually. You know, it's nice and smart. Um, do you want to take a bit of the bread? Just taste it. Yeah, you know, let's, let's try a bit of this fancy looking, it's not a big, big bit. <laughs> it's really good. Good, good. Yeah. yeah, good. Um, I'll be this. Yeah, go on then, take a bite. Oh, you can taste that real crunch, can't you? Definitely. Crunch of healthiness, of course. Debatable, but no. <laughs> yeah. Would you make it for all your friends? I'll just take them to McDonald's personally, but I really like it. It's really, really good. 
full of colour, full of flavour. The sauce is exquisite. And, you know, just a really good cheese as well, because obviously you can add really different types of cheese, you can know. Yeah. And different coloured peppers if you're a fancy. If you're a fancy it. Yeah. How do you think the cheese complements the peppers? It's really good, because obviously you get the crunch of cheese and then, you know, you get that undertaste of the cheese as well. So, you know, you could use blue cheddar, you could use any other cheese and it would just give it a different taste. You know, you could mix and match the cheeses. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. That's it from Mr. Tiny and me, Dan Mellers. Wait, I'm not s small. Like, can you stop calling me Mr. Tiny? My name's Cam Bishop. Well done for remembering your name. Um, well, you can find these all these recipes at www.recreatingrecipes.com. See you later. Bye.